Good morning, learners. Um, I'm Mr. Angela Zondi. I'll be teaching you guys Maths Bit for grade 11, as, I, as I've been doing for the last couple of days. Uh, today, we're still looking at measurement. Um, yesterday, if you, if you recall, we started uh, looking at length. Uh, today, we're continuing with measuring length and distance, right? Okay. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to do the following. You should be able to calculate the cost of traveling a certain distance. Um, you should be able to calculate the time taken to complete your journey. And you should be able to, to calculate speed. Um, for today's lesson, learners, I'll try to answer your questions in, in real time. So after every example, um, I'll give you guys an opportunity to ask questions. So if you if you don't understand anything, just write your questions on your chat. Then I'll be able to answer um, your question before I proceed to the next example or to the next activity. So let us carry on. OK, keywords. Okay, there are three keywords that we, we you guys are I'm sure are already familiar with. The first one is distance. Right? Distance is basically length of of something right and um, for 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 this section sometimes if you want to know distance they'll say how far right how far does someone travel from this place to, to that place and for this lesson um distance we're looking at uh, for unit we'll be looking at um meters and kilometers right for our unit for for distance We'll be using meters or kilometers. OK, then we have time, right? Time is duration, right? How long something takes. So they can ask you how long it, it took someone to do something, or they can ask you how much time elapsed, right? So those are all similar ways of, of asking you the same thing, the time. OK, for our time, they will be using seconds, be using seconds like meters per second right sometimes they can ask you in, in minutes but mainly um, seconds or hours okay let me also include minutes okay the reason why i'm saying seconds or hours for speed speed will probably be we will be using meters per second for speed right so that's why i say seconds right and hours for speed will be using kilometers per hour so uh, our Units for time must be must be hours if they require your answer to be in kilometers per hour. Okay, and then sometimes we can also ask you in terms of minutes. Right, terms of minutes. Okay, and then lastly, speed. Speed is how fast something is moving. Right, how fast something is moving. Okay, the units for speed that we'll be using for this lesson will be meters per second or kilometers per hour. OK, okay you, we, you need to know these conversions. Last on our last lesson, we looked at how to convert a uh, unit of length, right? OK, for this lesson, we're looking at how to convert time, right? In this basic introduction to how to convert time. OK, we all know that one day is 24 hours, right? So keep that in mind. One hour is 60 minutes, and one minute is 60 seconds. But right? obviously, I'll write. I can write this as 1D for one day. I can write this as 24H. Right, four hours. I can abbreviate minutes in terms of M. Right, or I can write M I N for minutes, and then for seconds, I can write S or or S E C, right? Okay, now how do you convert? Like to move from big units, from big units, right, to, to smaller units, obviously minutes bigger than seconds, right? We must multiply. Okay, obviously one to change one to sixty, you must multiply one by sixty to get sixty. And then when you move from small units, Right, to big units, 
right? For example, here we are moving from hours from hours to hours to days. Hours to days. Okay. Hours to days. We are dividing, right? Obviously, to, to get one from 24. 24 must be divided by 24 for you to get one. So you divide. Okay. I think everything is simple thus far. Okay, next, the formula that you will be using for today, mainly we will be looking at the speed formula, right? Speed is distance over time, right? So usually, most likely, then in an exam, they'll give you this formula, right? But it helps to know it off by heart, right? Now I said note, if the answer is required in kilometers per hour, so let's say my answer must be, my speed must be in kilometers km over h per hour, right? Ensure that your distance is in kilometers. Obviously to get units of kilometers per hour, must make sure that my distance is in kilometers. And my time in hours to get kilometers per hour, my time must be in hours. So that must be in hours. Okay. Okay, I think it's simple thus far. If they want your, your answer to be in in uh, meters per second, make sure that your distance is in meters and your time is in seconds. Okay, now these are the steps I usually use when I when I work with these types of calculations. Okay, first step. Um, from your scenario, write down what is, what is given, right? Okay, because we are, we are dealing with three quantities, we're dealing with speed, distance, and time, they'll give you two, right? And they'll require you to calculate the other one. Right? So write what is given, and then also write what is, what is required. Right? So maybe they can give you distance, right? So write what is distance. They can give you time, you write what is time, and then it will require you to calculate speed. So ensure that you indicate that you're calculating speed right? so that you won't, won't get confused. Next, check your units. Again, if I want my speed to be in kilometers per hour, my distance must be in kilometers, my time must be in hours. Okay, write down your formula, right? You need to rewrite the formula right? as is, right? Write your formula as is. Right? Then, substitute into your formula substitute into your formula in other words if my formula is speed is equal to distance over time right i must after writing the formula substitute values for maybe distance or time if i'm required to calculate speed right don't manipulate the formula right don't manipulate the formula just um substitute as is right because you may lose marks for example, if time is required, some learners will, will, will change the formula and say time is equal to distance over, over speed. Right? Don't do this. First, substitute your values first, right? Before you calculate time in this case. And then after that, check that your answer is run off accordingly. If they say run off your answer to two decimal places, you know that after the comma, there must be two numbers and so on. And, and, and ensure that your units are correct. Right? If they want kilometers per hour, make sure that you give them kilometers per hour. Otherwise, you may be penalized for units. Okay, here's our first example. Right? Our first example were told okay, that Tom's car travels. So Tom is driving in this case. Tom travels. 600 kilometers. So what is 600 kilometers, learners? Here, 600 kilometers is your distance. Right, so indicate that this is distance. And it travels this distance in five hours and 30 minutes. So what does five hours and 30 minutes represent? Right, obviously, according to this formula, it should represent your time. So this is your time. Okay. 
Now they say calculate his speed in kilometers per hour. Calculate his speed in kilometers per hour, right? So that means step number one, write what is, rewrite what is, what is given. So my distance, deep distance is 600. So that is simple. Kilometers. And then my time, my time in this case, T, is five hours and 30 minutes. So it's five hours and 30 minutes. Okay. Now, what is required? They want speed, but the units for speed must be in kilometers per hour. What is my speed in kilometers per hour? Okay, now notice uh, kilometers is okay, right? For me to get kilometers per hour, my distance must be in kilometers. But now for your time, guys, hopefully you can see red. Maybe let me change color. Because red is not the best color. Let me use yellow. Okay, for me to get um, per hour, my time must be in hours, right? Now, how do I how do I convert five hours thirty minutes to hours? Notice the five hours is already in hours, so I don't need to convert this, right? I only need to convert thirty minutes, right? Okay, just to remind you, one hour is equal to 30 minutes. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you know, we all make mistakes. Uh, uh, let me erase this. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Okay. So if I'm moving from minutes to hours, Right, I'm moving from a 60 to one. What must I do to 60 um, to, to give me one, right? Must I multiply by a factor of 60? Must I divide by 60? Obviously you divide 60 by 60 to get one. So in other words, this is equal to five hours and 30 minutes is 30 divided by 60, because you're converting minutes to hours. So they are now in hours, right? So this is this will equal to five hours plus 30 divided by 60. 30 divided by 60, what is your answer? Your answer should be 0 0.5. Right? Okay, I run you the calculator sometimes, so if I make a mistake, uh please shout just write on your in your comment okay now your time five hours that's 0 0.5 your time is now 5.5 the time is now in hours the time is now in hours okay now next step i need to now substitute my my values my distance and my time in hours to get speed right so i've done it here for you my speed is distance over time my distance is 600 kilometers my time is 5.5 hours right so 600 divided by 5.5 my answer is 109.09 right kilometers per hour so this is my answer. Okay. Now, before I proceed to the next question, right? I'll just check if there are any questions. A uh, producer, are there any questions thus far? Uh, so far, no questions. No questions. Okay. L let me move on so you guys, you guys understand what is happening. Okay. For example, two. Okay. Now, Tom's friend, right? Traveled the same distance, right? Remember Tom traveled 600 kilometers. So Tom's friend travel the same distance of 600. So you need to indicate what, your, what does your 600 represent. So in this case, it represents your distance. 
at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So your this is your speed, the okay, S for speed. Okay, what is the duration? So in this case, the set duration, we know that duration means time. What is the duration of his trip? Give your answer in hours and minutes. So the, the, the answer, the time in hours and minutes. Okay. Okay, step number one, write what is given. We're given the distance, 600 kilometers, speed is 80 kilometers per hour, right? So they want to know the time in hours and minutes. So what you do, write your formula, speed, that means speed. Speed is equal to distance over time, right? Okay, now, now what you need to do here, you need to be very, very careful, right? You need to be very, very careful. Okay, let me write it here. I don't, I want one time, but time is currently on my on my right hand side, right? So don't manipulate your formula. Substitute as is. So my speed is 80. So for speed, write 80, right kilometers per hour. For distance, what is my distance? My distance is 600. So for distance, write 600 kilometers and for time my time because I don't know what time is what what the time what is my time so I just write t for time right I'm solving for t right this step is very very important only after I've written this then you can manipulate your formula right so I've done it for you here you can see my distance is 80 Kilometers, my speed is 80 kilometers per hour, my distance is 600 kilometers, my time is T, right? So if I'm solving for time, I need to make time the subject of the formula, right? So obviously in this, in this case, let me just simplify it, we have 80, and then we have 600 kilometers, then we have over time, over T. <clears throat> so I need to make time the subject of the formula, right? Okay, according to the rule of cross multiplication, okay, time is divided on the left, so when it goes to the right, it will be times. So it will be t times 80, time times 80, right, is equal to 600. Okay, now obviously I want, I want to solve for time, so I need to remove the 80. Notice I'm, I'm timesing t by in times in t by 80. So what is the opposite of times? is division. So when 80 goes to the left hand side, it will divide. It will be 600 divided by 80. Okay, which is what you have here. 600 divided by 80, right? Okay, your answer is 7,5 hours. 7,5 hours, which is our, our answer. Right, but again, remember you you wrote out this to help you. My time has been hours and minutes, right? So I may get my few marks, but I won't get full marks. I won't get a few marks. I may get a few marks, but I won't get full marks because my time has been hours and minutes. Okay. Now notice at seven seven represent a whole, right? So I have seven full minutes and a portion, seven, seven full hours, I mean, and a portion of an hour. So this is like saying this is seven hours plus 0 0,5. Comma five is 0 0,5 hours. So I need to change the comma five to minutes. Change the comma five to minutes, right? How do I change hours to minutes, right? My conversion is one hour. Then as you need to know your conversion of by heart in this case. One hour is 60 minutes. Okay. So I'm converting hours to minutes. Right? I'm converting, obviously this is not a full hour. It's a 
portion, a fraction of an hour. I'm converting 0 0.5 to 60. Okay, what do I do? Remember, if I'm moving from hours to minutes, I'm moving from 1 to 60. What must I do to 1 to, to get 60? Must I divide it by a factor of 60 or must I time it by a factor of 60? Obviously, must time it. 1 times 60 is 60. So in this case, I need to multiply 60 by 0 0.5. So 60 times 0 0.5, the answer is 80. So 7.5 is the same as saying seven hours and 30 minutes. 7.5 hours is the same as saying seven hours and 30 minutes. So I'm done with example two, right? Okay, before I proceed again, um, I check if you guys have questions, right? Based on example one and example two. Uh, producer, are there any questions thus far? Uh, still no questions. No questions, okay. Uh, Probably learners understand this is easy for them, or uh, most of you guys are not online yet. Okay, now let's look at here. I actually said your turn. Um, let's look at an exam type of question. I like to give my learners exam types of questions because in the exam they give you challenging questions. They don't give you easy questions. Okay, here is a question. Okay, this question says, let me uh, use different color. Let me just use red to make it bold. Okay, the nurse uses a sedan vehicle to travel. The fuel consumption of the vehicle is six is seven comma six liters per hundred. Right. So this is seven comma six liters. Right. For every hundred, a hundred kilometers. So this is the consumption of the car. Basically, this means um, the car uses 7.6 liters for every hundred kilometers traveled. Okay, obviously this applies to the average speed. Okay, okay now here's to get your questions, right? Question 3.2.1. 3.2.1. Right. Calculate to the nearest kilometer. So my units must be kilometers, but nearest kilometer. Nearest kilometer actually means it must be a whole number. That means you can't have a comma in your answer. This must be a whole number. Right. That means if your answer is 5,5, you need to run off to a whole number. Okay. The distance, so we're looking for distance, right? Her, her, her vehicle can travel using 55 liters of petrol, right? Using 55 liters of petrol. Okay. Now, learners, let me, okay, I, I would say pause, but since you can pause, I'll give you guys time, right? I'll give you guys two minutes to do this question here. Two minutes to do this question. Exactly two minutes. After two minutes, I'll give you the answer. Right. So write as fast as you can. Let me time you so that I don't give you extra time. Right. Practice makes perfect. So don't just look at what I'm doing. Do it yourself as well. Okay, we have one minute and 40 seconds left. We're looking at A learners. I'm giving you guys two minutes to do this question here. Okay, one minute, 20 seconds left. Okay, one minute remaining.
30 seconds left. Okay, 20 seconds remaining. Okay, your time is up. Okay, you should be running off or you should be finished by now. I know it's not a lot, a lot of time, but uh, I don't have, I don't have a, uh, of the time I need, so I only have a limited amount of time. On an, in an exam, if you can, if you can match, match, match your minutes to, to, to marks, you finish ahead of time. So if you see three, three marks, make sure that you do that question in number three minutes, so that you finish in time and you have time to spare to check your answers. Okay, now let, let us look at how we can do this question here. I have my consumption, which is 7,6 liters, right? For every 100 kilometers. Okay. The question says how far the distance, right? What is the distance that will travel from 55 liters of petrol? So, 55 liters of petrol. Okay. I want to know how many kilometers. So, basically, this is how you set up your, your, your equation. The consumption, we have liters and, and um, kilometers. So, your consumption in this case was given in this format, right? Change it to this format, right? And then next step to solve for the unknown, make sure that similar units are on the same same side. Similar units are on the same side, right? Okay, to solve for, for my unknown, I'll use cross multiplication. So this needs to go up. So you'll have here on the left hand side how many kilometers? Right. Okay. You still have a hundred on the on the right hand side, so equal to a hundred kilometers. Right. Okay. And obviously, you still have seven comma six in this position here. Yeah? Right. To save space and time, I'll remove it. Right. We are multiplying it here by x kilometers so on the other side you divide it so it will go down right we are cross multiplying so if it, if it goes across it needs to go diagonal so in this case we are dividing by 7,6 meters okay and then on this side we have 55 which is divided on the left right if it goes over it must go across right so you must multiply Go across and we multiply it by 55. So I call it cross multiplication, right? So that is your answer, right? Okay, just in case some of you were a bit lost there, remember if this goes up, you'll have 7,6 right, liters times x. So you're unknown, right? But then to remove my unknown in this case um, was multiplying. The opposite must happen on the other side. I'll divide. That is there, right? And in this in this case, okay, obviously this is this was easy. You have, you have 55 liters, which is divided on the left hand side, and on the right hand side you are multiplying it there. Let me just uh, erase <coughs> so that I can carry on. Okay, so what is your answer? What is your answer, learners? Your answer um, uh, go back to yellow. Okay, hundred times fifty-five 
divided by 7,6. Let me see if I have, okay, I have it here, okay. One, yes, right. So here we have 55 liters, which are divided by 7,6, and you multiply it by 100. So 55 times 100 divided by 7,6, or 55 divided by 7,6 times 100. My answer was 723,68. That is my answer, right? But now they tell me that my answer must be converted to the nearest uh, kilometer, nearest kilometer. That means they want your answer to be a whole number. Your answer must be in a whole number to get full marks, right? So in other words, the 7724 is your answer because I've converted 723,68 to a whole number. See, there are no commas, so that's my, that is my answer, okay? Next question. Okay, next question, three, 3.5. 2.2, 3.2.2. Now, it says the nurse spends one hour and 45 minutes. So obviously that must be your time, right? I'm helping you a bit here. So this is time. On a particular day, driving between two work stations. That are 181 kilometers apart, right? 181 kilometers apart. So what is that, learners? Okay, obviously, it is distance. Determine the average speed of the vehicle. On average, what is the speed? Formula is given. Okay, in this case, I'm giving you learners three minutes. This question is a bit longer. So I'll give you guys three minutes starting now. Please do 3.2.2. I'm giving you exactly three minutes right, to do this sum here. I'm giving you a lot of time. Two and a half minutes left. Okay, two minutes remaining. Two minutes left. We have about one minute and 30 seconds remaining. One minute, 30 seconds left. We now have one minute remaining for 3.2.2. Three minutes remaining. Three minutes left. One minute, one minute remaining. Okay, 30 seconds left. You have 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds remaining. I'm sure most of you are done now, but I'll give, I'll give those who are, who are still writing 
more time, right? Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, your time is up. Okay, let's look, let's just look at your answers for for this question here. Yeah? 3.2.2, right? Okay, I'll use this. Let me use this space here. Okay, I know my time. Given time. The time is one hour for the five minutes. So my time is one hour and for the five minutes. One hour for the five minutes. Okay. Four. And then I'm told I'm told that my distance is hundred and hundred and eighty nine kilometers. So my distance is 189 kilometers. And then they want to know the answer. Obviously here they don't give us units, right? But my answer will probably be in kilometers per hour. Remember, I can't have, I can't have two different units per time. I can't have hours and minutes, right? I can have um, kilometers per hours and minutes. So I need to choose one. In this case, I'm choosing, I'm choosing hours, right? Kilometers usually go to hours, right? So they could have said, what is your speed in kilometers per hour? So let me convert this to hours, right? Currently I have one hour plus 45 minutes. So I need to convert 45 minutes to hours. How do I change 45 minutes to hours? Okay, you need to look at your conversion. Here's my conversion, it's one hour is equal to 60 minutes, right? I'm moving from minutes to hours, minutes to hours, right? What do I do, right? How do I change 60 to one? I must divide it, right? I must divide by a factor of 60. Right, so in this case, it will be 45 divided by 60, right? So now it is in hours. Okay. okay, that will be equal to one hour plus 45 divided by 60. Right? What is your answer? Right, I think it's 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Hopefully, I'm not wrong because if I'm wrong, Everything will be wrong. Okay. Let me just use my calculator to make sure. I don't want to make, make a mistake of carrying on with an incorrect answer. So 45 divided by 60. 0 0.75. So that is correct. So my time, 1 plus 0 0.75 is 1, 1.75. 1.75. Yeah, that's where you can is use a calculator. Just in case you make a mistake, but you want to lose mass. Okay, so that's my time. So my speed formula, speed is equal to distance over time. Over time. And what is my distance? Yes, correct. My distance is 189 kilometers. And what is my time? My time in hours is one comma seven five hours right okay one comma one hundred and eighty nine divided by one comma seven five use your calculator as well one eight nine divided by one comma seven five right so my answer in this case it is hundred and hundred and eight right kilometers This was a nice, very nice, very, very good question, right? Good exam type of question, right? Okay, before I proceed, I'll check with my producer. Producer, are there any questions thus far? Uh, no questions. No questions, okay. 
Let me finish off the lesson. I have about five minutes remaining in today's lesson. Okay, here's a homework question. Okay, this question, learners, I want you guys to do this question for, for homework, right? I'll give you guys some time to copy it down, right? If, if I were you, I'll start doing it now, right? Because remember, you have still have time before your next lesson, right? Let me just go through this one for you. But obviously, I won't answer it for you. You need to do this on your own. Right. It says the bus took seven hours, 26 minutes. So what is this, learners? This is your time to travel from Bloemfontein to Graham's Graham Town. OK, so obviously those are your two cities. Right now. Calculate the average speed, right? The speed must be, and it must be in kilometers per hour. The bus travels if the distance from Plumfontein to uh, Graham's town is 597 kilometers. So this value represents your distance, right? They say use this formula to calculate your answer. So I'm giving guys some time to just copy this question down. So short question, just copy it down, right? Okay, later on, I want, you, I want to check your homework, right? Maybe tomorrow or next week, I'll give you guys a link to send through, to send through your homework so that I can see who, who, who did their homework and was it correct. So write down this this question, right? Okay, if you if you have time, if you if you if you're able to, please start start by answering it. Right. Start by answering this question, right? Because obviously this is my last slide for today, right? Start by answering this question. Okay, quickly. I may just show you how it is done. But first of all, you must do this question as well. Distance and time to calculate speed. Distance and time to calculate speed. Okay, I'm sure that most of you are done. I can actually show you how you guys have to do this question here, yeah? right? Okay, let me just start it off because this may be challenging. My distance, there is my distance. So all you do, substitute your distance into your formula. My time, this is my time. Now notice I can't substitute this into my time as is. Because my answer must be in kilometers per hour. So I need to change seven hours and twenty seven hours and twenty-six minutes to our two hours only, right? So obviously in this case it's seven hours plus twenty-six minutes, right? How do I change minutes to hours? One hour is equal to sixty minutes. Right? Okay, I'm changing minutes to hours, minutes to hours. What must I do? To get one, you must divide 60 by 60. So I'm dividing if I'm moving from minutes to hours. So this will be 26 divided by 60. Now it is in hours, right? Okay, basically, once you want to get this, everything, everything becomes simple, right? So you use this to carry on, right? So that is where I'll stop. Um, okay, for <clears throat> for your take home message, just understand that time can be asked in different ways. They can say what is the duration, how long, what time elapsed. Those terms all require you to calculate time, right? And then your distance, they can say how far, right? Don't confuse how far and how long. How far, 
how many kilometers and so on like for further uh, further question papers you can visit the department of basic education website education.gov.za and tomorrow's lesson we are looking at calculating mass and weight right so we'll check whether that is two things two different things or the same thing when it comes to mass lit weight and and mass right using appropriate appropriate measuring instruments and we will also be we'll also be calculating bmi right so tomorrow you know what bmi stands for right okay that is all right for more information you can email us right info at africa you can also visit our website right for all resources videos and so on and then on social media if you want to contact us you can use these hashtags we are on youtube we're on facebook we're on twitter okay. okay thank you very very much i'll see you guys again tomorrow same place same time okay bye